Welcome to Mice and Logistics for Events. This session we'll be talking about the structure and role play in mice, the suppliers. Let's see why we should know this. There are three main types of suppliers. There are venues, destinations and others. In other words, the suppliers will help the event organizer to find the perfect venue according to the client's needs. The suppliers will give ideas and suggestions about destinations according to the client's needs as well. And also details like flowers, audiovisual, goodie bags and many others that could complement the event. So let's look at the first part, the venues. Let's look at how we can classify hotel venues. Hotels that are close to the city centre, hotels that are close to any transportation links, and hotels who are in the country, like country houses. Different MICE events have different purposes, which therefore need different venues. But there are other types of venues, aren't there? Yes, many other types. For example, we have convention centres, universities and schools, and also multi-purpose, such as town halls, etc. Residential conference centers is a term used a lot in the USA, and it describes a building with meeting rooms, but also with a hotel adjacent to it. The term convention center is used to describe a building with exhibition halls and meeting rooms, but no residential facilities. But there are other very unique venues. For example, buildings, yachts and boats, or tourist attractions, and even sports venues. All of these can be used for different mice events. Venues that are unique, they don't fit into the previous categories. For example, this picture of the salt mines of B. Do you know any other ones? Oh yes, for example, golf courses, museums, theatres, even television studios could be good to have a meeting, castles, also wine cellars, and many others. Wow, there's so much choice. How do we ever choose the right venue? Well, let's look at the different reasons. The main reason is the space requirement. What do you mean by that, Mr. Taffin? Well, if you have a five-day conference for 500 people, you need the ballroom, meeting areas, restaurants that fit to your requirements. They cannot be too big or too small. How about access to modern technology? Well, it is essential nowadays and it enhances the meeting room, make it more attractive. But also, it makes it easier. It should not make it harder. Easier in what way? Like user-friendly? Exactly, user-friendly. As most conferences go on for more than one day, having the hotel with enough rooms in the same area is essential. Imagine if you forgot your computer back at your hotel. A good transportation link would reduce time and cost and solve a lot of problems of communications. Transportation to the airport and other attractions is important too, isn't it? Oh, sure it is. When talking about ambience, we mean the environment that encourages business to continue after a conference is also very important, as study shows that business deals are done during this time. Social activities could be the difference between a good conference and a very good conference. What do you mean by social activities? Well, anything ranging from shopping to sightseeing to team building... And on top of all that, it also needs to be value for money. Now, let's look at design. Let's look at the different implications that design has on making a conference good. When talking about flexibility, we mean flexibility in terms of the room size. For example, you can have walls that divide, make the room bigger or smaller. Also, the lights need to be on both sides once the room is divided. And computerized systems need to control different equipment, adapting to different plugs and systems. 
And of course, when we do divide a room, it should not look like half a room. It should have its own entrance and exits, etc. When designing for security, we need to think about the security of the delegates, like petty crime, but also industrial security, where somebody could not steal the information from another company. Terrorism is also a very important issue, and you have conference centers now with metal detectors and shutterproof windows. Conference centers need to be designed according to new regulations of accessibility, where there's access for wheelchairs or headphones for audio for people who cannot uh, see, etc. And how do we design for the environment? Well, there are different solutions. One of them that we've been using a lot lately in conference centers is using sustainable material or using natural lighting. Do you have an example? Yes, there was a conference center that was built in Australia with material that is stain proof. By that, do you mean carpets and chairs? Yes, and with this, the conference center doesn't need to clean using material that damages the environment. So apart from hotels and venues, suppliers can now be destinations in itself. When doing mice, buyers put a lot of importance when choosing the location. Destinations can be towns, cities, regions, but also islands or an entire country. Destinations must contain a range of venues, the facilities, different attractions, support services and the appropriate infrastructure. DMOs, destination marketing organizations and CVBs, convention and visitors bureau, their role is to promote the destination highlighting its strengths and facilities. They're also involved in product development and business generation. Ah, so they really help the destination to attract mice. I know there are other suppliers that offer different services to the buyers, aren't there? Exactly, they complete the whole service. For example, we have audiovisual contractors, Telecommunication companies, transport operators, interpreters and translators, entertainers, floral contractors, caterers, exhibition contractors, and specialist software companies. All of these help to make the MICE event possible. So here is our summary. Just remember, suppliers can be venues, destinations, or a myriad of other companies. Here are the references. Thank you very much. Thank you.